So we're looking at Akadi, 95 rated, team of the season plus in maybe the final mixed league we've got. I know there's an ultimate week and then I can imagine we should have like an ultimate, I don't know, off league I suppose. But I don't know if there's going to be a second one, or well a sixth one or if this is going to be it. Now we do have Nene in this which is just extinct as ever. But 95 Akadi doesn't look terrible he can be controlled lengthy he has got the finesse shot plus as well as Travella and Ariel and stat wise he's as good as pretty much every striker that we've seen so far when we look at the stats at the moment he's coming in just over 600,000 coins give or take and you are looking for more of that engine so an engine is going to keep him controlled explosive or at least change him to that rather than make him controlled lengthy which would either be I'd say probably marksman or sniper if you're looking for anything um to be fair you don't need okay yeah you probably don't even need either of them probably the architect is uh, the architect is going to be the best one there but engine's going to be the more favored one purely for that agility balance sort of stuff as well as then a little bit extra pace as shooting wise he is more than fine we have got the overall of a 96 strike with the engine as well and he has got the 99 composure which should be very very good so i'm very interested in him he's 511 he's a 55 as well can he do it back into him Looking for the snapshot, and it's absolutely brilliant. Honestly, where was that left foot coming from? I think the keeper made a big error there. Did get his first shot off and managed to get the goal, which is always you're never going to complain. Can we find him on the turn here? And back across. Lovely. Go for the straight shot. Good save from some of this time. Probably should have gone for the finesse again. And it will be interesting because we've had a lot of good strike Ooh, nearly. We've had a lot of good strikers in the past, like, three days with Giroud, Martinez. We've obviously got a Liao that could be a striker, Sorloff, then into kind of Alex Morgan, Smith. There's just a lot that you can go with, let alone Correa as well, another decent one, and also Lookman. So we are absolutely blessed at the moment with more options than we can kind of shake a stick at, really. The big thing is with him, we know that he's going to be very cheap by the end of it as well. Just give him like literally the week and more than likely we'll see him absolutely dip in price. He's, it just seems to be the same with the mix. Most of them go to pretty much a min price, give or take. Obviously, some of them do like Messi clearly doesn't and Neymar clearly won't as well. But that that's to be expected. But when it comes to kind of the the random players, they're, they're going to be the ones that are more packable as such. Good ball. Oh, is he got to... Oh, can he get the bass into Soloff? Take the first heavy touch. The keeper's out of nowhere. Very, very good stuff from Vinny. Akali manages to hold his own there, to be fair to him. I thought Bissek was going to completely clatter him, but manages to hold out for the run, which is nice. Going to try again here. And again, can we get that pass across? Bissek managing to do the business this time. Definitely a very good uh, straightaway pace or striker. Holds his own nicely. Get the little turn. Can we go for a left foot across goal? Looking for something, but it's not going to be enough. And basically takes Summer out there. Also, with the aerial plus, having like a, a partner like Soloff here is going to be fantastic for, for potential crosses. Granted, there. Doesn't quite get the right option. It was very, very unlucky to not potentially get the header. But you've got that option constantly because of his lengthy nature and, and, and kind of how he progresses forward. He's always going to give you that cross nobility. That's a great pass. How on earth nobody blocks that? Oh, my, nearly with the aerial. That would have been beautiful for acrobatics plus, but... Unfortunately, doesn't quite get the connection. I, I kind of didn't expect him to get it, to be fair. I thought Soloff looked like the headed champ nearly getting him forward. And I think as well, somebody with incredible passing is going to be the perfect uh, kind of combination for someone like Soloff. Can we get the finesse from there? I mean, can we get the rebound? Yeah, it's... Hit and miss there, really. But passing-wise, we've got the 98 short, 85 long. So it's not necessarily the greatest in the world, but it did definitely can move something. Can we get a grace little partnership here? There we go. Diane with her left foot. Just go for the Traveller. Pings it. Looks for the left foot. Near post. Anacardi finishes it. And it's why I don't really show 
every single goal that he scores, or pretty much any striker, because at this point, if they can't score something like that, like, I'm not saying 100% of the time, because he's not going to. How on earth did he keep that in? But if he doesn't score it at least, like, six or seven times out of ten, then that, that most definitely isn't the striker for you, because every striker with, what, 95 shooting on the base should be able to get the, the kind of basics in, really. Big finesse over the keeper. Finesse shot plus still works, baby. Into Akadi's feet. Looking for the showstopper. And Akadi manages to do it again. Beautiful finish. And he's got a lovely, lovely strike. Into Akadi's feet. It's a good first touch. And how? Like, genuinely, how? What on earth was that? I pressed B is just to try and get it into the box. How on earth? You'd be fuming. You'd be absolutely fuming. Little one again. Little tucks it away, and it's just not enough. The crossing needed to be better there. Oh, is that that back stick? Looks for it back. Has he found Grace? Finds a bicey. Cardi into a roulette and the keeper fell for it. <laughs> Found the finesse plus and a good save from Koble, but we're gonna just win that corner. Big header from Akadi and he makes it five. And after all them substitutes, he's gone. The one thing I don't get is how on earth that goal went in. What was it? It was the one prior own goal. Okay, that makes sense. I like, let's get get into here. So he's gone for that. It's such a bad animation. Like, how on earth? It's such a shame. Like, the keeper, it's the animation side of it. But that is nuts. So going into the overall four and then coming in at the moment at 6.16, we will have a look and see what he's actually coming in at on the actual Xbox. But in terms of a card, pretty standard. Like it's, the problem we've got at the minute is there's just so much choice and there's kind of obviously the top end. So you've got your Mbappe's, your CR7s, your R9s. You then look at like a few million coins worth of strikers, a Griezmann. You're looking at a Dembele, um, kind of then going on to Haaland sort of card. They are always going to be fan favorites. Of course they are. They're, they're the top of the top for a reason. But then you have a lot of... I wouldn't even say low stars because, I mean, when it comes to Akadi, I mean, by no means is he rubbish in, in any kind of shadow of imagination. But then you look at someone like a Soloff, a Balotelli, you look at a Jamie Vardy, the, the prices are massively different across the board. So he's at the minute coming in at 605,000 coins. We managed to get him at 600 on the dot, so that's not terrible. Um, so we'll get him gone at 605. But that's where we've now got to think, well... What sort of striker do we need? Because when you look at, say, just go down the leagues, you've got Alex Morgan Smith, cracking combination there. You've obviously got a cheaper one and a more expensive one. You go into the Serie A, you look at Liao, Martinez, you look at Dybala, kind of your top end. Oshiman, never bad. Giroud, never bad at all. We go onto the bench. Vlahovic would be kind of your lowest one there, but even still, 97 shooting is not going to be a bad striker. It's all about the play style pluses now. It's all about the body type, the just running type and everything. Even in the mix, you've got Victor, you've got De Jong. Kind of expensive now. 7 for 30 for him was an absolute steal, but then 36,000 for him. It You've got so many options of absolute top gems. I think Akadi is going to be another one of them. Victor was coming in at about 2 million coins, give or take, from like day one, day two. Now he's coming in at nearly 730. Akadi is going to be about 200k. Like Balotelli has got to be up there as well. And the big thing for Balotelli is he doesn't even have that good play style. Pluses, to be honest, he's 64,000 coins. He's got relentless trickster and technical. Technical is a decent one. You can uh, be okay with that. But in terms of a finisher, he's unreal. And, and I think it comes down to just in general, who he is, like like how he plays 
is perfect like it, it just works it shouldn't but it does and he is incredible but then someone like a soul off you can see the calculate calculated uh kind of striking ability the the lengthy the play star plus the stats everything works really well for him whereas when we look at akadi you can go for the length if you really wanted to but i think the engine's more than perfect enough you get a bit of a pace bit of passing which is always nice he obviously gets a bit more agility balance and we're already pretty much maxed and out the shooting anyway so I don't see the need in to go any more for that. So I do think that is going to be the better chem style. 94 and 98 is incredible. He is a 5-5 as well. So he's already ticked that box. I think he's a very decent striker. And if you can go till like Friday, Saturday, he's going to be absolutely cheap as chips. For a 95 rated striker, he will definitely be a look at if he does go down considerably. Which I can imagine he will. This is the first day he's bound to drop massively.